Recently, I was inspired by a big Clive video, like many people are, um, about hacking these cheap LED lights. These ones are from a company in the US called Walmart. I'm sure everybody's heard of them. The brand is Great Value. These are made in China, non-dimmable. You can look at some of the claimed specifications here and pause if you'd like. I don't remember how much I paid for these, but for four of them, it was definitely under 10 bucks. And the hack is to remove one of these resistors to make the LED run at a lower power. So let's see what these actually run at here with the glorious hoppy meter. These are live at mains voltage, by the way, so... Looks like 5.87, 5 point, we'll just call it 5.8, and they're claimed 6 watts. So they're running a little bit cooler, or a little bit lower, 73 milliamps. But something I noticed, which is a little odd, is that this one runs a little lower yet. That one was 73 milliamps, this one's 71. So they don't seem to be too consistent. Not only that, but these things are really cooking. There are nearly a watt per LED. There are seven LEDs and running nearly six watts. And I just had this thing running for about, I don't know, 30 seconds, a little bit earlier, and the, bo the board is already quite warm to the touch. Here is the schematic for this. It's basically identical to the one that Clive showed off. Um, couple things to note here. One is on the live coming in, we have what I measured at 39 ohms resistance between the live and the input for the bridge rectifier. Uh, I don't know how accurate that's gonna be because it's in circuit, but I thought I'd give it to you anyway. Same thing, this capacitor here, I measured it with my cheapy LCR meter here at seven and a half microfarads, but I don't think that's a standard value, and it's also in circuit, so yeah, that's why I put the question mark there, but at least it gives you the ballpark of what it might be, and there's a one mega ohm resistor across that probably to discharge it. And then you got seven LEDs in series, you got the SM2082 eight pin chip, and then our two 33 ohm resistors. Uh, I'll show you a high definition picture right now of what the circuit board looks like, and then with the full uh, numbers for each of the two chips, the bridge rectifier and the 8-pin chip. And the way that you hack these things is, again, by removing one of these resistors, and there is a formula to figure out roughly what the change in wattage will be. So a little bit of math here. Um, watts 1, or in this case, the wattage it's going to be in the end, is equal to the original ohm resistance of these two resistors multiplied by the original wattage of the lamp, in this case, what was it, 5.8, all divided by the new ohmic resistance here. And again, that'll give you that number. So let's calculate that out. Sorry, it took me a minute to find my calculator. This is also my favorite calculator. So let's set that up. You're going to take the original ohmic resistance, which we will measure right now, Wrong side. There we go. Right there. Come on. All right, 17 ohms is what we got. Okay, finally got it stable. We're going to call that 16.6 ohms. So back here on the calculator, 16.6. We're going to multiply that by the 5.8. Let's confirm with the hoppy meter, 5.8. We'll call it 5.9. 5.9. 5 
5.9. And we're going to divide that by, because we're, there's two 33 ohm resistors, we don't get a choice. In Clive's, the two resistors were different values, so you had a choice of what power you wanted it to go down to. We only get one choice, and just, just to take out one of them. So we're going to divide that by 33. And we get 2.967, we'll call it 3 watts. So we should effectively half the wattage of this. Now the tricky part is getting one of those resistors off without destroying the rest of the circuit board. And so we got a few different options. Forceps, flush cutters, or diagonal needle nose. I'm going to start out with these because they seem like the most... I don't know, the ones with the most dexterity. Well, I broke it. As long as they don't damage the circuit board or the pins of anything else, that's all that really matters. So I think that is clean. I'm going to go off camera for just a second and make sure that that is good and thoroughly no longer connected. All right, that didn't take long. So remember, our number here is 2.9 watts. Let's see if our calculations were correct. That's still amply bright and well, look at that, three watts. So that is a really clever hack. So let's turn my lights off here. All right, so you see what that looks like. Let's try the other one. A little brighter, but not that much brighter. Okay, I mean, yeah, this one is a little bit brighter, but that's still plenty bright if you got a few of them. Like, if you have a lamp with, like, you know, two, three, or four of these things, this is plenty bright for uh, most uses, in my opinion. And these things are going to run way, way longer and a lot cooler as well. So, uh, well, thanks to Clive for sharing this with everyone. And now we can confirm that the ones here in the U.S., are also hackable. Well, I think that'll be all for this video. Till next time, see ya.